Hey, it's Toph. I haven't recorded a video in a while and I'm really scared. So I want to make a video about my pop gun. I probably shouldn't shoot it. It looks like this. I haven't done the cork yet though, of course, because I don't want to paint that and then have the cork turn black and whatever. But I'm going to give some tips for how you can make yours before I paint it so you can see what it looks like composed and you can kind of get the idea of how it works, if you know what I mean. You can look inside of it too! <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I guess the first thing that I'll talk about is what it's made of. It's got this container. Um, it's just an ice tea. It's just an ice tea container. And I've heard of people using protein shake containers and oatmeal containers, which would probably be better because I think those would come in bigger sizes. And I think this one is a little small. And then I have this vitamin water bottle, which was the idea of Trini Quinn. So that was a good idea. Very, very easy to do, which I loved. And you just have a gun handle <laughs> and this styrofoam. It's actually a ball, but I cut it in half and that was difficult. And then I have cork that will go in the middle, but that's not part of this yet. I started by measuring the width and height. Not the width and height. What did I do? What did I do? I started by measuring the width and the length of the gun. And you want to make sure that you do the rectangle too small. Because if you do it too big, the gun is just... I did mine a little bit too big, and... I had to fill it in with glue. There you go, you can really see it there. What did I get out of your face? I'm yelling now. My mom is probably wondering, what the heck? Anyways, you see how I had to fill right there with lots of glue. So if you do it quite snug, you won't have to do that, and it will just be cardboard, and you'll be perfect, but unfortunately I'm just not that clever. So that was the first step, getting the gun onto the barrel. So the next step was getting the vitamin water onto this. The vitamin water bottle may not be centered, but you can easily measure that out if you would like it to be centered. I just used the lumps of the bottle, not the lumps, the ridges of the bottle, to fit along here. The next step. This monster right here, um, I had to use a styrofoam ball because I didn't have any plastic ones, which you could probably find at a toy store. The Good Host iced tea container that I got from Costco was, you can also get it at Walmart. I live in Canada, so I'm not sure if it's in the States as well, but I got this, and this is a 4 inch diameter. That's what I got for the styrofoam and this is the one that I didn't use because obviously I didn't cut it even but I think it's better if you don't cut it perfectly in the middle because then if you don't cut it perfectly in the middle this one's obviously way bigger you get a way bigger gun yeah score so I didn't spackle this one I just used it as a test oh that's lovely but the texture was just terrible it was very lumpalicious it was lumpy space princess and not in a fabulous way it was not what I wanted to deal with. So I did a couple coats of spackle and I'm not sure what kind of spackle it was. My dad just was like, here's a big bucket and it has some cement looking stuff. It's got a little bit of water on the top. Mix it together and here's the spackle. So I'll show you what it looks like. Do you care? Is anybody gonna look at this and be like, that's this kind of spackle? No, because this is a horrible quality video and it's just white paste. And to apply this spackle, I just used a little spatula like this, a little baby one, and it was really fun. The glue that I used was regular hot glue, and then I sanded it to make it smooth around all the edges. I'll hold it up once more. Thank you for watching, and if you want to watch the next video on the completed project with the cork that I used and the painting process and the finished product, then I'm not going to say click here. <laughs> do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you want to see that video, maybe you can click there or maybe I'll just apply. Apply. I will apply a picture at the end of this video 
and you can click that picture and feel free to click it or you can just look at it maybe I'll apply I'll apply an annotation for you I don't, I don't know how to do that though I'm really new to this thank you for watching and I'll see you again probably not I probably you probably clicked off of this like a minute a minute and a half three minutes ago bye